housing advocates and industry leaders are watching closely as lawmakers work out the details of their tax plan. We're still meeting with uh, both uh, members in the Senate and the House to see if we can get some movement before the thing goes to final passage. Jerry Howard, CEO of the National Association of Home Builders, says he prefers the Senate bill to the House version. The Senate bill is vastly superior in how it treats housing. Specifically, the mortgage interest deduction is left at a million dollars. Our economists say that uh, the House bill will probably bring house values down by around four to seven percent. Other economists are even more bleak in their forecast, saying it'll be over 10 percent. Howard says he's concerned about the way the House plan addresses the mortgage interest deduction, which allows homeowners to deduct the amount they pay in interest on their home loan from their taxable income, which helps them get a lower taxable income. The House plan would cap the portion of a mortgage on which people can deduct their interest at $500,000, down from the current level of $1 million. The mortgage interest deduction is so neutralized by the increase in the standard deduction that only the very wealthy will take it. And we think that that is a ineffective use of the taxpayer's money. Housing advocates are proposing replacing the mortgage deduction with a tax credit that offers a similar incentive. And now they're pounding the pavement here on Capitol Hill, hoping the idea will gain some traction. We're still talking to people about the tax credit concept as a possibility on the Senate floor, and also talking to them about the tax credit concept as a possibility in conference. So we're still optimistic. With the final details of a tax plan still to come, experts say you probably should think twice about making any major purchasing decisions in the next few weeks. Obviously, whenever you're making a business decision, you want to know what all the variables are. And so it might be a good opportunity to sit back over the holidays and not make any dramatic decisions. In Washington, Samantha Giroth, Spectrum News.